Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of How To in Trail Makers. In this episode, we are going to be uh, taking a look at how to build a three axis stabilizer. So, if you ever build jets or uh, really fast cars, you just want stabilization, uh, any like hovercrafts as well, uh, any of those kind of buildings that are in the creations that, are, that you build in the air that you want to stay nice and stable on, on either axis. Uh, this is going to be a simple way to, uh, to build one that you can add to just about any vehicle for stability. Alright, so let's start. What we're going to start with is a couple of, uh, we're going to need six. The helicopter engine version 2. I'm going to bring one of these in, duplicate it, flip it over. Drop it down. Now we're basically going to create. Love that sound. Get a nice pattern like this. You want counter spinning helicopter engines on three axes. Now our middle ones, because they, we don't want everything on the outside, it's going to be a waste of space on the inside. What we'll do is we'll take these and move them into the middle, like that. And because the tops don't spin, take a couple of these little twos here, two on top, two on the bottom. And then we can use our small slope. I want slope. Build basically a small cage around it. Right, so now we can see everything is connected. There's no seat on it. Let's slap a simple seat. So we'll start with our inside ones. First thing we want to do is get rid of any controls that are already on them. S and W. Come in here, get rid of those. Set the speed to 10 on all of them. Now we'll start with this inside one. So we'll decide the, which direction we want it to spin. So when you're looking at the green and the red arrows here, just remember that the green one here, that's backwards and forwards. So if we want this to spin forwards or clockwise, we'll set this to spin alpha one, or you can set it to uh, whatever key binding you want. You want to set that to toggle so that it spins constantly. Now the one on the bottom is going to be flipped upside down, so it'll actually be spinning the same direction, or it'll be spinning the opposite direction but with the same key. That'll be alpha one again like that, we'll toggle that. So we can simply test that by building now, sit the seat, hit alpha one, as you can see it doesn't go anywhere. Two helicopter engines are spinning in opposite directions. So basically what we can do is the same thing for all of them now. So on either side we know that they're they're inverted, so they're actually going to be spinning on the same same axis, the red or green. So we'll choose the red, say alpha one for both of those. Same thing here. Alpha 1 on the same axis. Give it a quick test. Number 1, everything is spinning. Of course, you can't see the stability of it now while they're all spinning like that. But let's uh, change that simply by adding let's add a few gimbals to the sides here. So 
So if these are set to space, just build that. So if we don't have the stabilizer on and we hit our space bar, we just go up in the air like this. You can see how it rocks. Right? We can use the seat steering to try and keep ourselves level. You can see how it just wants to either rock any direction, right? It's basically like a gimbal itself. It's like a sphere. But we turn on our stabilizer and we do the same thing. Notice it's much more stable in the air. It can go to one axis or another. And actually stay on that axis. We actually fall slower. We stay upright. You see how it keeps it locked at that position in the air. That's how you build a gyro stabilizer, three axis stabilizer. So again, great for hovercrafts, great for uh, anything that's off the ground, helicopters, really good for helicopter to keep it level. You can use more than one uh, because they're perfectly balanced, the, uh, just the gyro itself. And that's a, uh, an easy, simple way to build a gyro that you can add to just about any creation. Works underwater as well. All right, so we'll wrap that up there. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you guys in the next one.